with the cutting of this cake, I'd like to quickly invite Barista Mrs. Edima Udobia. Please, a round of applause for her. God bless you, ma. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We trust God today that this beautiful cake is going to represent beauty and sweetness in the marriage and lives of Deborah and Sam. Could you please join me stand as we cut this beautiful cake? Let's all rise up, please. La, 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 la. That's all right. So we are going to spell the name Jesus, and when we get to the last S, we will cut the cake. Are we ready? Are we ready? So I'll start. J... E S U and an S Jesus A round of applause for them Praise the Lord So we are going to watch them feed themselves for the first time all right uh, ladies and gentlemen you may please be seated while we see them do this particular segment of the event where we where we see them feed thank you so much where we are awaiting them and while we are waiting this special moment i'd like to specially recognize and appreciate the presence of a very distinguished personality in our midst, Obi Kubana, thank you very much for coming. We also have uh, foreign delegates from Amsterdam. Ladies and gentlemen, come put our hands together for Beth and Anya. Thank you so much for being a part of today's event. We recognize you and we appreciate your presence specially. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the way from Amsterdam, we acknowledge your presence. Uh, as we get your plates and, your, and the glass that you used to feed, uh, we are going to see the bride do something special right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see the bride dance with our father. This is a very special moment for the bride as she wants to dance with daddy. So ladies and gentlemen, we will appreciate that we watch them enjoy the moments together as they dance for a few minutes. I want to appeal that this moment is strictly for daddy and daughter. So please... Just let's watch them as they enjoy the moment. Family members, friends, well-wishers that want to join them, you can please join them uh, from wherever you are seated while daddy and his beautiful daughter enjoy this special moment. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for daddy as he dances with his daughter right now. DJ, are you ready? Oh, 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 oh,
Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you, Daddy. Congratulations. Can we celebrate them, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much. My brother, go and collect your wife. That's a, yes, your wife. Uh, that's it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. 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 Thank you. Just before His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Benue State is going to give his goodwill message, we are going to see the groom dance with his mother. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special moment for mommy and son. They are going to dance for about uh, three minutes thereabout. And then His Excellency is going to give his goodwill message. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for mommy Uloko as she dances with her son right now. Can we celebrate mommy, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much. celebrate them. DJ, continue to play till they get to their seats. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. Can we celebrate our beautiful mother? Our mothers are amazing. Our mothers are beautiful. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that mothers are very wonderful people. How many of us can remember those times in our lives that our parents used to communicate with their eyes? In a garden like this, if I was running up and down as a child, and my mother looked at me in a particular way, I would get the message. If she should blink her eyes twice, the meaning is comport yourself. If she should blink her eyes three times, the meaning is sit down somewhere. If she should blink her eyes four times, the meaning is we'll meet at home. But things have changed now. If you like, blink your eyes one million times. The child will ask you, Mommy, what is wrong with your eye? All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, quickly, while we invite His Excellency, sitting next to him, I want to recognize distinguished Senator Abba Mori. Please, a round of applause for him. A round of applause for him. Your Excellency, sir. Please. God bless you, sir. Your Excellencies, our Father in the Lord, our Mother, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of government and people of Benway State, I want to welcome you all and thank you very much for making it a day with us in Benway State. These two children, the bride and the groom, 
and my own children. And we are excited and happy that you made it a day with us. And to appreciate our parents, parents of the bride, parents of the groom, for teaching these children the way of the Lord. Not allowing them to be wayward, but bringing them together under the discipline of God and making it possible for this holy matrimony that we're having today. We want to appreciate God and to thank them for honoring us, we as parents. This is the desire of every parent to see his child coming to the altar of God to wed. So I want to congratulate you. And uh, all have been said from the prayers to the sermon that was given in the church. And uh, I want to recommend that take time because today is a busy day for you, but take time and watch that sermon again and I think it will bless you. But on a lighter note, and in closing, I want to say that please love yourself. Today, you have been given the license to stay together. Nobody will ask about your intimacy and what you are doing in the bedroom, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, or anywhere you have gotten the license today. So love yourself. But above all, on a lighter note, Steve, Please, my son, make your wife the treasurer of your home. And I tell you that the women that are here, I was discussing with somebody yesterday, and he told me two things. The other one, he said that the day that we we'll go to heaven, we'll ask God to ask women what they were doing with money. Because if we we'll ask every one of them, they are already hailing me for saying that wives should be treasurers of their homes and so treat the wife your wife very well and my friend also told me yesterday and the wife of my friend told me that they are very special people the book of genesis records that we were made out of the dust but women are our leaves so they are very special they are not dust so don't allow dust to pour your wife. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests in our midst, allow me to celebrate the presence of uh, Ogigome by Kidoma, distinguished Senator Abba Moro. One round of applause for him. We have another statesman with his amiable wife in our midst. Formal Governor, Retired General Lawrence Onoja. Let's celebrate them, please. Milord Justice Adam Onum is here. Let's celebrate him, please. In our midst, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, we have Obi Kubana and his team. Let's celebrate them, please. Our amiable, brand new Executive Secretary of the INEC, Mrs. Rosalind Oriaran is here. Let's celebrate her, please. General Chris Abutu Garuba and his amiable wife, they are here. Officer of the Federal Republic, His Excellency, former Deputy Governor of Benue State Chief Stephen Lawani is here. Let's celebrate him, please. The running mate of the APC Guba aspirant, former Minister of the Federal Republic, Dr. Sam Ode is here. Let's celebrate him, please. Distinguished guest, we will continue to reel out everybody that is here. We salute your presence. God bless you. Thank you very much. As we promised, recognition will be recognitions will be an ongoing process with today's event. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to announce that food is going to be served very shortly. It's going to be served just immediately. And to bless the food, I'd like to respectfully invite and welcome a very, very distinguished personality in our midst. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Pastor Shola Olawiyi as she prays to bless the Father, we want to thank you. We give you all the glory. 
for your beauty that is displayed in this place. Thank you for the meal, O oh God, Father, that is prepared for us to eat. And we have the assurance that generation to come in Debbie and Sam's life will never know famine. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. For this food, O oh God, Father, that is prepared and put before us, we declare that it is blessed in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Every energy we will derive therein will be used to the glory of your name. We will not use the energy of God, Father, to satisfy the flesh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for the provision. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Thank you very much, Mommy, for that very impactful prayer for the food. Ladies and gentlemen, in a couple, in a couple of minutes, we are going to see the couple do their first dance. They are going to have that special moment. And that moment is strictly going to be for the bride and groom. Uh, we are going to see them enjoy the moment. And also, they are going to feed very soon. We are going to see the couple feed. So we need um, a little plate and uh, a glass and something they can drink. As we are waiting for them, I was saying this some time ago. Ladies and gentlemen, that gone are the days that couples used to call themselves certain names. Before, a man can look at his wife and call her a name like uh, maybe mommy blessing or daddy chibuzo. But nowadays, ladies and gentlemen, what is very prevalent in my generation and a bit above is that we call our spouses very beautiful names. A full-grown matured man nowadays that is 40 years old with two boys. Nowadays, the wife will look at him from head to toe and call him what now? Baby. Or you will hear boo. Or baby boo. Or baby boo boo. Ladies and gentlemen, my wife calls me baby. We had a baby recently. So she looked at me one day and she said, baby, baby is crying. I said, which of us? So I started thinking that if a man calls his wife baby and the wife calls her husband baby, so when they have a baby, what will they call that one? Offspring or descendant or fruit of the womb. My father, who is 70 years old, overheard me calling my wife baby one day and wanted to try the same thing with my mom. My father is 70, my mom is way above 60. My father got back from an outing one sunny afternoon. He looked at my mom and he said, baby. My mother said, we are they doing any ceremony here now? Where can you see babies around here? And you know babies nowadays, children nowadays are very privileged. Ladies and gentlemen, gone are the days that a child, that, you know, nowadays a child can confidently tell the mother, mommy, I don't want this food. I want that food. And mommy will make it available compulsorily nowadays. But as a child for me, my experience was quite different because I was made to believe that only one food was designed for kids. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are looking at me with a jacket and bow tie on my neck, I was made to believe that the only delicacy designed for kids was pap. As you are looking at me, ma, I drank pap passionately. I drank akamu to the point that I knew all the three different flavors of pap. The white pap is vanilla flavor. The yellow pap is pineapple flavor. You see the brown pap, the one Yoruba people call Logibaba. That is chocolate flavor. Sometimes my grandmother wants to be creative. She will combine colors. She will combine yellow pap and brown pap. It will give us strawberry flavor. If I did not want to take pap in peace in those days, and my mother was trying to force it down my throat, my grandmother would just come out of her room, and she will ask an important question. What is it? My mother will say he does not want to take the pap. My grandma never used to speak English, but anytime she spoke English, just be sure that something will happen. My grandma will say he does not want to take the pap. My mother will say yes. Then my grandma will say, bring it. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a big difference between bring him and what now? Bring it. My grandma will remove all my clothes for cross ventilation. She will sprinkle water into my eye to be sure that I am awake. She will turn my head upside down for easy blood circulation. She will use a clip to hold my nose so that my mouth can be widely open. 
just like generator. She will put a funnel in my mouth. 25 liters keg of Akamu. Continue to pour it. But we thank God we drank Papa and we are still standing. You took Papa proud of yourselves. Put your hands together for yourselves. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the couple to have their first dance. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for them as they come forward right now for this special moment. We want to appeal that this moment is just for both of them. Just for both of them. Please watch them as they enjoy this moment right now. DJ Music Rise. My first love Your every breath that I take Your every step I make And I Me, oh, I'm here to drink that. 